Early humans had to face a lot of challenges to become the dominant species on planet Earth. The steps the first representatives of our species had to make to get to where we are today are foggy, but scientists, through thorough study of the history and archaeology of our planet and its inhabitants, have been able to clarify, bit by bit, what the early life on Earth might have looked like. This process is far from done, however, and in the absence of verifiable information, speculation and theories come to try to give an explanation to events that happened thousands of lifetimes ago. One of the events that scientists point to as being pivotal to the development and evolution of our species is the eruption of the Toba Volcano, a supervolcanic event that happened 74,000 years ago at the site of present-day Lake Toba in Sumatra, Indonesia. This eruption is one of the largest known to have happened on Earth, and evidences point to it being the cause of a global volcanic winter that lasted between 6 and 10 years, and possibly a cooling episode that lasted a millennia. The effects of the Toba eruption on early Homo sapiens populations are still debated to this day. Some scientists believe that the eruption would have completely changed the layout and genetic distribution of the human species on Earth, while others point to the new event as being the deciding factor for the extinction of competing species, such as Neanderthals. These theories clash in today's video, where we will analyze the evidence from digs in India and the consequences of these discoveries in unraveling the mystery of early life on Earth. A rumbling in the distance calls the attention of the settled tribes near the Toba volcano in what is present-day Indonesia. They drop their tools and activities, listening, wondering what the sound could mean. Then, a roar, louder than anything they've ever heard, louder than the toughest tigers or the largest elephants could produce, is heard across the land. A scream from the bowels of earth so massive and inhuman, it chills their blood. Then, hellfire rains from the sky in big, boiling boulders, destroying everything it touches, burning the forest, bringing ruin and destruction all around. They would have tried to run. It would never be enough. The Toba eruption is one of, if not the largest eruption Earth has ever seen and its path of ruin and fire would have been inescapable for miles and miles. Ash and soot would rain from the sky for days, and there'd be no shelter that could resist the fire or the oncoming cold. For almost a decade, the ash that escaped from Toba Volcano would cover the earth, repealing the sun's rays and causing a deep winter. For a millennia after that, a cold environment would slowly recover. Throughout all that, humans had to survive, making do with whatever they could. This is the established theory on the matter, but scientists are now entrenching themselves deeper in the theories, and new evidence from the site of the eruption could prove their hypothesis. One of the prominent theories about the post-Toba eruption period is that the early humans had to band together to fight the climatic collapse, and that this had pushed the evolution of the species greatly. The theory states that the early humans that survived the event would have created new communities, made up of the remnants of their former tribes, and that these alliances would have permitted the humans to share knowledge and develop new tools and means to hunt and combat the elements. These new populations would have survived the catastrophic event in the African continent and, about 15,000 years after the event, would start to migrate to Europe, Asia, and Australia, repopulating the areas that were most affected by the event. But these theories rely on the effects of the Toba eruption to have been so severe as to force the human communities to migrate as far as a thousand miles from their starting point. Evidences found in the Toba volcano region have suggested that the eruption might not have been as catastrophic as first claimed. An archaeological dig in the Daba region, a valley in India, 
has discovered stone tools that date to around the age of the Toba eruption. And the tools are similar to the ones that were being used in Africa around the same time, which would point to the conclusion that humans survived the Toba eruption in the region and continued to survive the post-catastrophe climate. The archaeological findings at Daba provide an essential link in understanding the processes that humans undertook to conquer the globe. The findings are interesting, but aren't conclusive. Though the studies have uncovered ash from the eruption in near areas, they haven't been able to identify fossil records or other evidences that had point to the idea of a population bottleneck in the region, another evidence that goes against the theory that the Toba eruption was as catastrophic as some believe. For archaeologists, these discoveries are essential to unravel the mystery of early human evolution. With these findings in India and Africa, science point to the existence of human communities as early as 75,000 years ago that developed and implemented the use of stone tools, a feat that distinguishes these communities from their ancestors. With the early humans implementing these tools, their later conquest of the entire Eurasian continent and the Australian peninsulas is more comprehensible. As humans traveled from Africa to the Middle East, and from there split up into groups going to Europe, Asia, India, and the islands that, at the time, were connected all the way to the Australian continent, the spread and journey of these humans becomes clearer and clearer. Evidences taken from caves and dig sites around the globe support the idea of a migration starting in Africa and conquering the world throughout the millennia that followed. The piece of evidence that has scientists baffled is that these early migrants might have been motivated to move to Africa by the volcanic eruption and the possibility that this wasn't the case. These statements are contradictory, but that's precisely the point. We can't tell yet which was the case. If the supervolcanic eruption was enough to push human civilization into an impromptu alliance with rival tribes and to force them to move more than 9,000 miles from Indonesia to South Africa, then back in the span of 16,000 years, then human evolution was uniquely shaped by this incredibly destructive event. On the other hand, if the evidence is found in Dara, India, really point to a human settlement surviving and thriving in a post-Toba eruption world, then our ideas of the human conquest of the world need to be challenged. If the eruption didn't cause enough damage to prompt the humans in the near areas to have to move, then the human populations that conquered the Earth could have two, perhaps even more, distinct tribal origins. These discoveries are only the first pieces on the puzzle of human origins, and the only conclusion that scientists can agree on at this point is that we need to keep studying these sites and occurrences to provide us with more information on the lives and times of our distant ancestors. The story of the Toba supervolcano eruption and its effects on early humans is another proof that science and the pursuit of knowledge are necessary. Aiming to reveal the secrets of the human race and to further our knowledge of the species we belong to and the world we live in. Earth is a beautiful place, full of wonder and knowledge to be seen and learned, and the indomitable human spirit longs for the discoveries. What do you think about this video? Leave your theories and opinions in the comments below.